so student uh, in this course we have come across uh, the word sql a number of times such as we have talked about sql sql and uh, mysql and no sql and we will also talk about new sql so how do they compare sql sql is the structured query language which was developed to query relational databases okay now mysql and no sql are something which are very different so in this module i will talk about those differences historically mysql ag was a swedish company which was i believe established in 1995 and then it was acquired by sun microsystems and then it was uh, purchased or acquired by oracle corporation so mysql is currently owned by oracle corporation let's go ahead so what this module will cover is uh, mysql then no sql uh, and uh, a comparison a tabular comparison and a brief conclusion with reference to uh, these uh, comparisons and vis-a-vis -vis no sql so what is mysql uh, the benefit of mysql mysql uh, is a relational database system it supports uh, uh, the the relational model okay and it is available in public domain uh, it is public domain it is uh, public usage license proprietary license it is all there it is relational relational means that it has the primary key and the foreign key and how those uh, tables are linked together it is fast it is powerful it is used by large organizations and of course uh, it became popular i will tell you how it became popular and what reached to its popularity and it uses sql it is supported by many operating systems and you can uh, make connections using the kind of standard programming languages also so it is it is well established okay for these reasons then uh, no sql it has varied and different databases okay it has actually four types of different databases it's uh, it supports the columnar it supports the triples it supports uh, you know uh, key based and the document based also so it has four different types of so called databases or data structures as opposed to single one in the relational which is the mysql which we were talking about and it is popular hugely popular for big data and this popularity was triggered by facebook by amazon by google and so these are huge uh, huge setups and uh, no sql is supporting those applications which are run at these huge setups so that's why it has become very popular then there is something which is the eventual consistency when the changes are made it is not certain versions are not fully acid compliant which we have already discussed and we will maybe discuss more also so ultimately uh, in milliseconds the read the change is reflected for read operation in milliseconds not immediately in milliseconds right and that is a stale read stale read okay which i have written over here stale read so this this is fine if i make a facebook posting and my friends see it after a few seconds or maybe a few minutes or maybe a minute but it doesn't work in a financial system it will not work it will be a disaster implementation is different the the, the document coding but it follows the standard format follows so there is certain standardization and it has it it uh, supports the key based lookup so i have a key and based upon that key i can retrieve what i am looking for the key is linked the key is linked with what i am looking for so what is the advantage of course the advantage is quick search and then of course there are apis to perform to query that uh, database so let's look at those some of this comparisons over here so uh, mysql is relational and no sql is non relational over here the concept of table over here we have a concept of document and we have triple also triple stores also and it is relational okay it is uh, good for uh, it is good for big data big data detailed data model need to be in place okay this is uh, you we have discussed agnostic okay the need it has vast and expert community this is growing is it growing we don't have a lot of people who are using and help you out it follows sql as i mentioned you can use the apis also 
okay same uh, schema is rigid okay it this schema is not rigid i mentioned over here also okay variety of reporting tools lacks those tools over here so the point this what this slide is telling is that of course mysql is more mature as compared to nosql in a nutshell in a conclusion there are multiple advantage of nosql which are scalability which is performance which is open source which is cost and the list goes on so these are the advantages of nosql but it is not as much standardized as the relational model okay there are many versions as i will discuss more in the subsequent modules and i have already discussed in the prior modules also this is the last module on nosql is that the nosql is whenever the people the programmers came across a problem and they could not find a nosql solution or a model they developed their own model their own solution and published it made it public okay so that is why it is not so standardized the cio chief information officer need to look at and weigh the options what functionality is needed how much it's needed how critical it is and based upon those needs needs to identify okay uh, which kind of model suits them and finally business needs and the data volume no sequel is good for big data so uh, that's all i have for this module thank you for your time